Hi everybody and good morning. Thank you for watching a new video. Today it's Monday and that means that it's the first day of the working week. So we will start today with spelling, but I'm not going to read the spelling words yet because I would like to give you a bit of an explanation before we are going to start writing the words. Um, because it's a new part, it's a new, a new area, so we're going to learn something new. Sounds like fun, yeah? We like new things, don't we? I do. Okay, first of all, I need to know um, what day was it yesterday? If the day is Monday, what day was it yesterday? Sunday. Very good. Do we go to school on Sunday? No, no, no. No, because Sunday is part of the weekend. Saturday and Sunday are the days of the weekend. And let's see, today is Monday, the 27th of April. Wow, the 27th of April. So it's almost the end of the month. It's almost May. The next month will be May. Okay, so Monday, the 27th. Let's begin. Um, yeah, we are going to start with spelling soon. But first of all, I would like to talk about this subject because... We're going to talk about adding an, the letter S at the end of the word. Because, for example, if I write down the word cat, how many cats do I have here? One or two or five? One cat, right? But what if I have two? Do I say, hey, I have two cats. That sounds weird, yeah? No. We say, I have two cats. We add the letter S to the word. Look. Cat plus S. Cats. So how do I write that? We write it like this. K -a -s two cats. What happens to the word, I don't know, let's say the word boy. Boy, we all know how to write that because we had this word at the spelling from last week. One boy. In our class, do we have one boy? Or are, there, or are there more boys? We have more than one, yeah, it is plural. So we say boy. We have to paste the S at the end of the word. So we say two or three or four or five boys. So, if you want to make a noun, plural, you just add the letter S in this case. Good? Very good. Okay, then we will start now with the spelling form. So get your spelling form or put it on the computer so that you can see the words. And you will need a pencil and then we will begin. The first word is bats. Bats. So a bed is this comfortable thing where you can sleep in. And if we write down the word bats, how do we need to do that? Maybe you know how to write down bed, one bed. But in this case, we have two beds, for example, and we just add the letter S at the end. Bats. The next word is tense. Tents. So when you go camping, for example, you can sleep in a tent. But on a campsite, sometimes you can see more tents. More than one. Tents. Okay, the next word is girls. Girls. So, for example, in the classroom, we have more girls than boys, correct? 
girls with an S at the end. Okay, the next word is clocks. Clocks. If you want to see what time it is, you just take a look at the clock. But if there are more than one, you write clocks with an S at the end. Okay, are you good so far? I guess so. The next word is frogs. Frogs. So we have one frog and two frogs, or three or four or five or six or seven, whatever. Frogs. Okay, the next word is shops. Shops. If you want to buy something, you can go to the shops. The next word is Crabs. Crabs. I think that we already learned about the word crab, right? I think that we had that word another time on the spelling form. So now we're talking about more crabs. Let's see. Okay, the next word is Sweets. Yummy. Sweets. Sweets. And the next word is tables. Tables. Do you see that you have to put the L here so you don't write tables with the L here. You put it before the E. Tables. And there are more than one. The last word is steps. Steps. So that was the last word of the spelling test or of the spelling form. I'm sorry, it's not a test yet. Uh, yeah, so how did, what do you think about this? Is it okay? Can you, are you able to write these down? I think so, yeah? So let's see, I'm going to give a description of a word and you'll have to guess which one it is. Mm, let's see. Okay, so the opposite of boys is the opposite of boys. Girls, very good, girls. So now you can write down girls again on your spelling form. So search for the word and then you write it down again. Okay, the next description is about something that you have at home and when you're very sleepy, you really want to be there and it's warm and cozy and at night you're going there for a long sleep. You do that in your beds. Beds. So write down the word beds again. Okay. The next word is something um, with a lot of sugar. And mostly it's very tasty. And they are like small and you just don't... Mm. But you can't eat too many of them because that's not good for your health. But it's so tasty. What is it? it, it these are sweets. Very good. Okay. The next word is a place where you go if you need to buy something. So you can buy some clothes over there or food or anything. You have to go to this place to buy something. What is it? It is shop. You will go to more shops. So the word is shops. So you search for the word and then you write it down. Okay, the next one is something that you use if you want to know what time it is. 
what do you use to check the time? Clocks. Very good. Clocks. Okay, so the other word, the next word is something that you also have at home and you can eat at it, for example, or you can put something on it. Tables. The next word is tables. So search for the word at your spelling form and then you write it down. Okay, the next word is an animal and it's small and it likes to jump. So it is not able to walk, but it jumps or it hops. What is it? Is or would it be frogs or crabs? Frogs, yeah, because frog frogs <laughs> like to hop. Very good. Okay, the next word is when you put one feet in front of the other. What are you doing? You're making steps. Very good. Steps. Search for the word and write it down. The next one is something that when you go camping, you can sleep in it. And it mostly looks like this, it's like a triangle. Tents. Tents. Very good. And then the last one is an animal who lives in the water or on the beach. And it has like these claws, like these things. Crabs. Very good. Okay. So that was the spelling for this week. We're going to practice this every day, so don't worry about it. I hope that it was okay. Um, so remember, if you want to put a word uh, in plural, if it's more than one, you can add an, the letter S. Okay, so now that you've known a little bit more about this, you can see another video, it's after this one. And then you will be able to make the pages of your spelling book. So what do you need to do here, for example? You can see all these words, and those are words that you already know, and you have to put these words in plural. So you have to add an extra letter. And which letter was it to make something plural? You put the letter S. So for example, the word is hat. One hat. How do I make this plural? I add the letter S so that the word will be Hats. Very good. So you will put all these words in plural and you write them down here. Good. So you're going to do the same here. You just look at the picture and then you write down the words. So this, for example, what is this? Or what are these? Because there are more than one. Eh? These are your hands. Hands. So here you write down the word hands and then you will complete all these ones. Okay. Um, yeah, in this last part you will under you will underline the word um, who is plural. Okay? So make the underlined ah uh, no, you make the underlined words plural, I'm sorry. So the sentence is Yen jumped in the puddle. How can you make that sentence plural? You say, Yen jumped in the puddles, because there are more than one. So you will make all these sentences plural. Okay, good luck with that and we will see each other later.